is good guys i'm back with another episode for a road to top 10 i made a nice team around specs here and have two versions of this team just played with the other version that just got fucking destroyed like i just got wrecked by specs lily so i'm gonna use this version which has bedev rachi um this guy has double porygon we are still low on a lot we're like 1346 on this account so we're gonna face some weird teams So Z, Z move Porygon is a bit scary, that Porygon Z. I just want to leave with Specs Curum in this one. I have Mega Gyarados by the way, it should be Adamant. But uh, it should be Jolly, but mine is Adamant because I was just so scared of fat teams like Toxapex. And I have Earthquake and Tornado, so I beat Toxapex when we won. Like if I get Misty Turner with my type of Fini, Toxapex cannot burn Mega Gyarados and I can... DD on it, I can taunt so I cannot get haze and then I can earthquake to do a lot of damage. I mean, yeah, I still have to predict if they have a lander in the back. They can go land on my earthquake, but I think that's fine, I can play around that. Toxapex is like super common in all years, so I want something that can break Toxapex. We have Scarf Jump. At first, this was um, a Z move type of Bulu, but my team was way too slow. I knew I had to add some sort of Scarfer. Maybe I could add Scarf Bulu, but we're kind of we're kind of weak to Volcarona, so we need we needed a Scarfer that, that was basically faster than Volcarona after Equivalence. So I choose um, Scarf Chomp. Uh, I guess I can just explain the team because this guy doesn't seem to come back. I mean, I already explained some of it. We have Spadef Jirachi with a uh, wish support for the team. Um, Starfrog Landers with leftovers, I would probably maybe make it Rocky Hunt. Leftovers has been working out pretty nice and testing to keep this more healthy. To check uh, Ma Mega Mora a bit more reliable. And here with HP Fire on this scissor, which is uh, important to mention because this team basically gets destroyed by Mega Scissor. Okay, there's the guy decides to pick a lead. Oh, my Kyurem has wall by Tabofini, so this is bad. You have Specs HP Fire on this to hit stuff like Ferrothorn. And Scizor. Which would, uh, yeah, this is also the reason, like I said, I'm weak to Scizor. I mean, yeah, I have HP Fire on Landris, but I don't know if that's enough to be it. So I'll have HP Fire on this. So, I haven't recorded in a few days. Um, I feel like I'm just gonna throw my Jirachi in. The reason I mentioned why I haven't recorded in a few days is if I sound a bit weird, like I'm not used to it, I don't know, it's a bit weird to me to record. I can just wish and like I can just iron head a U-turn. Um, I feel like I have to iron head to keep this healthy to get receive the wish. I don't know what he's thinking. He should go into Landris. I feel like I can afford to U-turn here. I kind of want to double predicting his land because that was so obvious and I don't want to take helmet damage, but he didn't even have helmet, so we can just go cure him here. I thought, nah, Gyarados is also fine play. Oh, we also have Scald on our type of video, by the way, to hit Marowak. And to get burns on stuff like Celestina that is in the air. I feel like I can just Dragon Dance here, like... I guess he, nah, he's just gonna go Porygon and Trace him and Intimidate, so... I'm gonna predict that. I'm gonna predict him to go into Porygon and I'm gonna go... To my Type of Fini. Uh, and to my Jirachi, but what is the Type of Fini? I don't know why he went Type of Fini. If I was Z-Move Gyarados, I think I kinda... I put in a lot of work there if I was that sad. I can just Iron Head on this, or I can just Wish for this. I think wishing for us is fine, but yeah, this is gonna be annoying because I kind of struggle with the the Porygon with two. Might be a bit annoying to break through that. Um, we don't know if he's offensive, so I guess it shouldn't. It's not smart to stay in here. We're just throwing my Gyarados. I'm not just waterfall in regular because this guy's playing a bit weird and. He should go Porygon, but for some reason he didn't do that last time. And he's also taking Forever, which is really annoying. Because I'm trying to get some points in his life. I'm trying to get to at least mid 1400s. But if my opponent takes forever, if my opponent takes forever, that's not gonna happen. So yeah, Jabufini obviously just eats that up, but 
we can chip that down. He doesn't even have leftovers on this. Maybe Z Hate. And we can just throw up another wish. I mean, honestly, this team. Like, when I build it, I went like through the. What I have to check through the thread. But it's honestly still weak to a lot of stuff. You citrus berry type of thing. Good god, why am I so low on the ladder? Why am I facing this? Just keep iron heading because this guy just doesn't want to switch. Like, this is fine, it works out for me. It's a bit boring to watch, probably. I guess this is a roll, so maybe I should have protected there. But thankfully, I don't die, so I can wish again. Kills Tapofini and Majorachi still healthy to check Metagross. I mean, yeah. Hanadon Landris would be nice to get chip damage with Helmet on uh, Landris. I'm gonna just protect you. CM Tapu Coco is not common. So he H HPI is predicting my guard show. I'm gonna just stay in here and throw up a wish to see if he's choice locked. As we see, he's not choice locked. So we get useful information. We see that he's live or Read that up because we spit death. And we can just bring the Gyarados out again here. In case he wants to earthquake. Like, even if he does anything else, this is just fine. We get the wish back, back to full health. Not being jolly here sucks a lot, but I'm not just Mega and DD. If I was jolly, I could have taunted him, prevented him. Actually, I cannot. No, mind, you cannot taunt Z move. So this guy outspeeds me, and he's electric, so he's just gonna blow me away. So not being jolly is gonna cost me. I already knew this would happen, so I should have made this jolly. But just in case we face a fat team, I wanna... The adamant power, but of course it's not... Like, the rest of my team cannot really break stall, so that's why I'm adamant, Gyarados. I know it's a really bad choice, like I said. Versus offensive teams, but what am I gonna do versus, like, stall? I guess I have to just... Bank on them choking because I don't have much to break stall. I can just go scarf jump here and click earthquake. Maybe I should have called, but I'm, like, what else is my play? He lives on 4%, and he does have the ice beam, so my team is getting weakened a lot. But it's Porygon. If Jirachi takes damage, my team kind of falls to Metagross, but I think that's still the play. If he has recover, I just lose anyway, so I'm gonna just hope he doesn't have recover. I'll just arm head. Hopefully no para, thank you. I didn't play this Optima. It's already 1 a.m. here. Serum Grace probably good. I mean he can try to heal on this if he doesn't have I don't think he can kill me, so I don't know why he went into this. Oh he's shadow, well, never mind. So I guess I have to flinch this to get my Jirachi healthy. Which we get the first flinch. We can protect it to get more left. Overs. You can basically maybe U turn would have been smarter there, but we're just lucky and bad. So we're just gonna get our Jiraji bag and gonna <laughs> flinch Porygon down. I mean, he gets off and recover. Not and recover. What am I saying? He gets off and recover. We're gonna not speak English today. Um, I just U-turn to Specs Kiro. Actually, nah, now that he's lower, I'm gonna try to flinch him down again. Like, I just need two flinches. As you watch his well trained, we can do this. Look at how it went from 20% to 95%. Of course, he gets the recover off. I'm out of Iron Head soon. If I don't get this flinch, I'm done. Okay, okay, we need one more after this. Okay, okay one more, one more. As we don't get it, so we can try a last time to flinch him, and then we will just have to bank on. Yeah, I will just have to U turn into my spec secure him now. That's my best way to hit this. <laughs> this is boring to watch, my bad. Yeah, I'll make the I'll make the Gyarados jolly now. I know it's I know I have to do it anyways. Like sooner or later, I will have to make jolly. 
I'll just have to deal with the fact that this, that this team is not made to break stuff, I guess. I don't hear f um, yeah, I'm forced to spend my ice beam. I don't really have another play. Yeah, he has the other version of the team, by the way. This Arthur vs. Tang was a mega scissor. Yeah, this one with Juhaji Mega is also kind of cool. Um, yeah, let me make it jelly. And I see that's 44, so that's good damage. You made a mistake there, not healing. So if you don't get paralyzed here, he loses his Porygon. I mean, that's not a switch in. As he gets a paralyzed, so I guess it is a switch in. Jirachi still checks this, and he's kind of forced to Dazzling Gleam anyway. So we can, like, protect it to f waste electric terrain. Next time we can go for a wish or yeah we can go for a U-turn here to of course he has to crit us. Good god. I mean I'll try to flinch his Porygon, but he also paralyzed me. Yeah, U-turn here is nice. Uh, I guess arm heading would be nice also to get more health. I'm gonna just go for Landors and I don't know if U-turn kills on Earthquake. If he goes to his own lander, it's really annoying, but I have to basically Earthquake here, because if I let this heal, it's gonna be a pain to kill this, so yeah, at least I get rid of that. Goes to his land, so... I wanna, wanna keep my landers healthy to take it. Ice Punch from Metagross later on. I can just go Turbo Fini here. Cure being proud is really annoying, this matchup. I feel like he's got off the way he's been playing this, so I'm gonna just Skull here. Type of Coco is the switching for some reason. Well, that's what it's a bit more, but in case he goes Metagross, I want to Scold, and if he stayed in Alt, so Scold is better. Maybe Second Curum was second Curum was the smarter play, but it's, I guess we, let's just say we predict him to HP eyes. He doesn't even have T-Bolt, um, actually he has T-Bolt. I thought he only has Volt Switch the way he has played, the way he played with Type of Coco. But yeah, we eat that up, Jirachi coming through. Spadef bulk coming in clutch. We will just spam wish. Now that the electric terrain is gone, it's not gonna do anything. Thankfully, no para. And yeah, he goes landers, but we can just protect again. Like I could have U-turned there, but this is fine. Like I don't lose anything. I can just go for a slow U-turn here. I'm pretty sure it's scar. <clears throat> Get some leftovers on my Tabo Fini, and then now I can pivot into my Landris. Um, yeah, Helms would be really nice. So we actually we don't get off the Intimidate Cancel. He's not mega yet, so we just scald here for some damage. Magic's Mountains would be a bit better in this scenario. Already 30 minutes in. So I might have to make this like a super long, super long episode. So for some reason, Landris is a switch in that crit obviously doesn't matter. It's a 2 hit KO. I'm gonna just. Stay in here, I don't think there's a point. I could have gone Landers, but didn't really see a point in making that play. And as my man just forfeited, so we we 1366. Uh, last time we stopped we were 1364, so I think we decayed a bit. Yeah, this guy's toxic packs so which is would be nice to be Adam and Gareth in this game. Thunders is a threat, especially if it has Focus Blast. That's gonna be a pain to deal with. I still wanna deal with Curum and just try, just try to nab a kill with that mod. Like that mod is good, like trust. It has some. I mean, it's obviously not like the best mod in OU or some like. It's kind of niche or niche, however you pronounce it. It's just a mod that's like really fun to use. Honestly, I might just make it pure and black. That's an option you guys can consider if you use this team. Make it pure and black with our Z move, because this team doesn't have a Z move. At first, we had Z move Bulu, like I said earlier, but I made it Scarf Jump because the team was too slow. And yeah, I didn't want to use Nihiligo again. Because I've been spamming Nihiligo Scarfer as a Scarfer, and uh, also we already have a. Jirachi and his team that gets trapped by Dagi, so I didn't want to have Nailigo that also gets trapped by Dagi. So it's Metagross. If Metagross was not 
If this was Aureth, I could just go for Earth power here. I mean, if it would Kalk, I would have to Kalk if it kills. If it would kill, I mean. I said if it would Kalk. So yeah, the thing is, I have, yeah, I have to play around this by going Jirachi and then get the crit, which is fine because I'm four times resistant to that. So now you either go to Marak here or you go for Earthquake if you have it, or you go to Toxapex on Mandibus. So I just wanna, I just wanna go Landris here because you either go for Earthquake like I said, or you switch into these other things. Okay, he goes for Earthquake, and now we don't even have to take an Ice Punch. Like, now you go to Mandibus, or you go to Thunderous, or you go for Ice Punch, right? So I feel like going Curum is a really nice mid-ground play here, but he just makes the Ice Punch play. That is not a good play in my opinion, but whatever, it just worked out for him. So we will have to deal with that. But now that he's minus one, Zorachi can deal with this. Let's throw up a wish here. Yeah, Metaverse is just one of these mods that you have to put on. Really, really annoying mod. If he has knockoff, this is gonna be annoying, cause... Also, if he has helmet, which he has. I hope he has foul play over knockoff, so I can wish path into my... Uh, I don't lose my specs in my cure. Okay, nice, he has foul play. So, like, I'm just gonna fire off an ice beam. Like, Metagross still takes a lot from this. I should off power, I should off power, I notice. Okay, he has Toxapex, yeah. Should I off power knowing that the Toxapex comes in? A uh, really bad play on my part there. So now I have to go Fini, and this is just gonna be a pain to deal with. I might make this, nah. I probably cannot make this episode super long because my voice is coming to an end. <laughs> this was a long, it was a long day for me. I was in call earlier for f some hours already and before that I also had like some real life stuff where my voice got where I used my voice a lot so that's really coming to an end now nice and one sixteen a.m. Yeah, I was hoping to record Ben game was Finchinella but the game got postponed to tomorrow so we predict that toxic immaculate let's just go for taunt here so in case he's trying to do anything Cheeky. Okay, it just wants to go for Scald. That's completely fine. We can just switch out. Oh, Nature's Madness will actually be super good here. Uh, nice. So we can just go Cure Me and we can click Earth Power. Like, if he switches out into, let's say, Mandibus or Typho Bulu, like, that's fine. I'm just gonna Earth Power once, and next turn he's probably gonna switch out because he doesn't want to lose his Toxic Packs, right? So I'm gonna predict him to switch out into Typho Bulu or Mandibus here. Or, or Thunderous. Um, it's actually hard to make a play that covers all these options. I actually don't have a play that covers all those. Jirachi only covers the tab Bulu. It doesn't actually cover the. Oh, it goes for Ben for Bunker. I didn't think about that because I'm. I didn't think I would play with that type of <laughs> move. I'm gonna just Iron Head try to flinch him a few times. So he's gonna recover here. Um, I'm not gonna flinch this down. So I'm gonna U-turn again into my. I can go cure him. I can go. I can go Gyarados here. The thing is, he can skull burn me because there's no misty terrain up. Like, oh my god, why did he skull there? I thought he had to recover. Okay, okay. So now he might go for Baneful Bunk. Actually, now he's probably gonna Toxic. Let's just taunt. Toxic slash recover as he just tries to Skull Burn me. He doesn't get it. I'm um, drink Dance up. And don't get Skull Burn. Mega Wolf here. Go for Earthquake. Hopefully, he doesn't switch out this turn into Mana Burst. That would be horrible. But yeah, this is basically how I planned the set. And if I'm. Um, this is not, probably not gonna kill because I'm Jolly. Okay, thankfully, it kills. Thought I would need that power of Adamant. So we got rid of the Toxic Packs. We don't have Ice Fang in this though, so we're forced to switch into, I guess, Jirachi. But if he's banned, we're gonna get blown away. Okay, he's Horn Leech. That's not banned. That didn't do much. So I think I can U-Journey. It's not definitely he's stinging. I can also go for a Wish. But I feel like U-Journey to get momentum is a nice play. Oh, he has Harm and I forgot. So I should have hard switched. Oh, 
I can go cure him and click Ice Beam now that he does this Toxic Pact. His only switch is Amarok and the uh, Metagross, which is completely fine with me if those come in. Like, getting damage on those mons is just amazing for me. Um, if you could play with fast, my god, that would be, be nice. Like, I know sometimes I like to take my time, but at the moment this guy is just taking forever. It's definitely not me who's taking his time now. But yeah, these, these fat teams are so annoying to face. I completely forgot to put background music, I just realized, good god. So I will have to edit this video, which is fine, which is fine. But it's gonna be annoying because rendering takes kind of long. <clears throat> I might actually save money for a better computer, but it's like really expensive. Um, so I can render faster. So that is nice, thirty-seven percent. Too bad, misty terrain, grassy terrain heals him a bit. I feel like Landers is okay here. If he ice punches, it's gonna be horrible though. As he does ice punch. I thought Majirachi was super obvious there, but I guess my opponent didn't think that. If you earthquakes, earthquakes, he's just a lord, but he just ice punches again and he gets the freeze. It's nice to see him getting rewarded there. Okay, Pokemon. Why is he so nice to these guys, Pokemon? <laughs> Yeah, as we get him there, we get some leftovers. And now we can go back and do Jirachi on the next Ice Punch. Now I just have to hope that we saw out, which is probably not gonna happen, but he switches. Though he's not, he's gonna try to take advantage of this by setting up on Frozen Jirachi. I mean, do I need help on my Scarf Chop? My Scarf Chop is nice to revenge stuff, but. I don't think I really need health on this, so I'm just gonna throw it in. He goes for Dark Pulse, okay. And I'm just gonna go for Rock Slide. I don't have Stone Edge on this, I guess it's very accuracy, so I don't miss him. On Volcarona, as we get a crit, that is absolutely nothing. So I don't really wanna go for the Flinch here, I'm gonna just go Hard Cure and fire off another Ice Beam. I feel like I can get a bit more by from doing that. If he wants to go Metagross again, yet yeah, it's gonna be really annoying since my Jumanji got frozen. But he goes Marrak instead. I guess I should have clicked the off power. But that's almost a 2 kill. We get a revenge freeze. But the thing is, Flabbits can saw him. So I'm gonna just go Tapu Fini here. If he has Flabbits, he's gonna saw. And we're not gonna take that much from that. Yes, correct. That did a lot. Never mind. I just said we're not gonna take a lot. Because we're like fist dev on this. But yeah, I'm gonna just go now. If he goes into Tapu Bulu, I can potentially get a burn. If he goes into um, Thunderous or Minimus, I can potentially get a burn. Ah, uh, Thunderous would be a potential play, like many of us would not... Yeah, he gets Boogaloo, so hopefully he can get a burn since he changed the terrain. As we get the burn, amazing. This is why you don't switch Tapu Bulu into Tapu Fini. A lesson learned, friend. <laughs> and I can go on... I can go on a good god, what is wrong with my English today? I can just run my Jirachi, like this doesn't do any damage to me. And I can hopefully thaw out, but I don't actually want to... Stay in because this is annoying. I'm gonna throw my land with and already he's burned. Is he probably switched? Okay, he stayed in to do zero. So I'm gonna take this opportunity to get up my stealth rock, which is gonna be really nice. And next turn, I'm gonna just U turn out. Even though he could go into a bus with Helmet, but he will take rocks damage and would be really low, so that would be worth it for me because he says, Yeah, actually, he's at 89. Just bring my Curum in here, and then I'm gonna just fire off an Ice Beam. Honestly, I kind of need, I kind of need better teams, but I think just, the guy just forfeited. it. So yeah, I will get one more, one more for you guys. Like I've kind of, I've been struggling to build good teams. I've had like some decent teams, but also some subscriber passed me a team with. Uh, I forgot what the mon is called. We can, I can look it up in my team builder pretty soon. Yeah, the team was fun, but it was it was like heat. I was Melo Edo. Yeah, shout out to you, Melo Edo team. It was fun. I used it a few games, but I'm not that good with the team. It's like more of offense. I'm more of the bulky offense or balance guy or like semi stall ish. But I've been getting away from the semi stall, thankfully. 
So, this guy is a really cool team. Let's say have fun. Let me actually uh, check this guy's rank because that kind of tells me how good he is and all that goodness. So, this guy is. Okay, he doesn't have the best win loss ratio. Ah, uh, Kieran destroys this man, kind of. So, I just want to leave over that. If he did with Ladi, I have a Jirachi to switch in. Like, he can still go for a trick and predict that, but that's completely fine. I don't want to go. Mm, I don't want to go Tapu Fini because he could beat Thunder with um, Gigavolt Havoc. I mean, if I'm an opponent. I guess he could go into. Like, he doesn't even have. Like, if this is, could be technically Scarf, which is not really a set, but I guess he could go into Megina here. But yeah, going to Raji should, should work out really good for me in this scenario. Like. Yeah, he just drops a Draco, gets a crit that doesn't do much. That looks like Scarf damage. I can throw up my rocks here. Actually, I don't have rocks on this. What am I saying? So I think he's gonna go Landris here or Magino or Excadrill. Uh, probably Landris. So I feel like I want to double switch here into my... And my Gyarados, because I will get off the Intimidate on... I will get off the Intimidate on his Landris because I switch out after. I can just go for Dragon Dance here. Don't see what I lose from doing that. Like, I guess he has a Scarf Laddie, so maybe just Hard Waterfalling is a better play. Hard Waterfall seems to be a decent play as his helmet. We get Toxic, which is really annoying. I think he's gonna switch out into Larios here, so Larios Mgina, something like that. So I'm gonna go with Jirachi here predicting that. So he goes Ladios, we get that play correct. And now I'm just U turn. Uh, I, he could trip me, which would be really, really annoying, but he would lose a scarf in the process. And if he switches out into something and just get momentum. The thing is, uh, Rocky Armor is annoying, but I didn't want to double there because I didn't because technically he could have like switched into something else. Um I feel like I can just go cure me and click ice beam. He does have a Magiana sitting there, so I kind of want to click off power. But clicking off power is honestly not the play to make, because, like, yes, the Magiana was so obvious, but. Okay, that looks to be a salt vest, so that's a bit bad. If he votes switches she he just grabs momentum again. Off power in there would have been a play to make, obviously, but. Since he just flew kind of there, this works out for me. I can just wish this back up. He's probably gonna go for slow volt switch. Um, I could have flinched him down there, so I don't know why he made that play. I would have gone hard into drill or something if I was him. Uh, I kind of lost my train of thought. Was that what was I trying to say again? So this could be this could be SD. This could be scarf with night slash. I'm gonna just throw my landers in since it has HP fire. Oh yeah, I was talking about the play earlier. Why I didn't. Why well, I wanted to Ice Beam instead of off power? Because like Xander's is low, Xander is not doing much. I mean, yeah, it's nice to save as a fodder, but some people just stay in there, so I really didn't want to overpredict. Because Kyurem is nice as matchup. I'll just HP fire. This guy doesn't expect me to have it, so his Katana just gets blown out the window. Earlier, I, like on the ladder, I just got super mad when I used this on a different account. Because someone, I switched my Xander into Katana, and he just crit me and two KO me. I might just go hard cure him here, breaking the stealth rock or HP eyes. Yeah, and I'm I'm gonna just like yeah, he has a Magiana, but I'm really just gonna ice him again exactly to get rid of his Landris, because if he goes Magiana, I can try to play around that. But if I I off power on his Landris, I just lose all the momentum. If I off power and he stays in, <clears throat> I mean. If he has T Bolt and he's gonna predict my Tabo Fini here, yeah, that's good for him, but we're still gonna attempt to make the Tabo Fini play as a really good play by my opponent. The thing is, this gives me a free switch into my Guard Chomp, basically, and I can just click. Like, I can just click off quick because he, he has to be scarfed the way this is played, I feel. Like, I can just click off quick here, predict something to come out, unless he's Balloon Drill. But he's not balloon drill, so we kill his excadrill. I'm not sure if I should get one more after this, but I don't really feel like it. It's already 1.30 a.m. Um, 
Jirachi is still nice to check the mid -Giona. I wanna just throw Jirachi in though. Maybe going hard Fini would have been better. Okay, yeah, this works out. So we cannot get frozen because of Misty Terrain. And so we can go for Wish or we can. I feel like U turn here is a really good play to just grab momentum. Just grab momentum on a Greninja, get damage on a Greninja, then we'll let that thing come in on a Wish. And I can go Scarf Jump here. And just click Dragon Claw. I think he just forfeited. So thank you guys for watching. I will um, leave the team for you guys in the description. Not sure if I will leave both variants or only one variant. Still have to edit music in until this is gonna be annoying. I completely forgot to let music play in the background. Uh, yeah, Kyurem did a little bit of work, but not that much. Spadafji Raji with Wish Support just came through. The games are not that interesting. I hope you still enjoyed. We are. We are 1400s. Damn, I wanted to hit. I wanted to hit like 1450, then we're only 1409. So yeah, this is gonna be a long road. Um, yeah, yeah, especially when we get higher into like 1700, it's gonna be pretty tough because like I've been testing this team there And it was rough, but yeah, we obviously use a different team using a different team every episode makes this kind of hard to be honest Also, what I said last episode that I can understand aim. I kind of lost my train of thought there So what I meant to say there was I can understand aim. it is really frustrating because like ladder is like weird because when you get When you get wins higher on the ladder you have to like you're gonna get like 10 points, I mean you lose, you lose like 20 or 30 points. So you basically, if you win two games and you lose one game, you basically get no points, which is really frustrating. And then you can, like, if, if you then lose one more, you especially lose, essentially lose points. So yeah, that's gonna be so frustrating to deal, deal with that, I might have to... I don't know. Maybe let up with friends, um, if, it's, if it really gets too annoying. Because I know, I know how the highlighter works. I will eventually go on like tilt in some episode. But yeah, I'm glad that we went positive in this one. Thank you guys for watching. Leave down teams below or sets that you want me to build around. Or hit me up on Skype, Discord or my small one wall. I'm Doc, which I'm signing out. And I thank you guys for watching. Peace out, friends.